We are uh, Solid Cam. Uh, we are a uh, cam company, so that is software integrated into the major CAD platforms, including SolidWorks, Inventor. You know, for people that are unfamiliar with cam, uh, you you know to make parts out of metal. Uh, mostly you're using subtractive manufacturing, although that's always been traditional manufacturing. If you talk to uh, our, our focus, you know, being a newer division to this company is we really assist our customer base in helping adopt 3D technologies. So our CEO has always kind of kept an eye towards the technology in the manufacturing space. Um, and he noticed that additive was really coming to the forefront. Uh, you know, it's more than just this kind of fly by night thing. It's definitely actively changing the way we do manufacturing. So we, uh, we basically help our customers uh, adopt these technologies, understand them better, see what use cases they have based on the parts that they are doing. Um, and Ray's definitely p plays a part in that for us and support that, that those activities. Uh, one of the ways we've been using it lately is we have a 3D scanner as well that we use for inspection of parts after cutting and being able to uh, kind of semi-automate that process where we can build an inspection fixture that we can quickly install parts into so we can get that scan data off nice and quickly has also been pretty useful for us. Um, the other area that we use this is for our customers when we're training them on some of the higher end metal 3D printing systems. Uh, obviously, those systems are much more complicated to train on, much more complicated to learn. Having a technology like FDM that's much more accessible for them to get into that space. Uh, and obviously, having the extra benefit of uh, Hyper FFF and having uh, multiple nozzles means that we can get pretty creative with uh, the way that we do demo parts um, so that we can kind of prepare for design reviews and get our customers prepared for, uh, you know, this region of a part is the actual part. This is the support material for the part, uh, things of that nature. Um, so this piece needs uh, special support material during the printing process. So we can show that to the customer when we're going through their design and show them, this is what the part's gonna look like. These regions are gonna fall away. Those, that's your waste material, just your support structures. Um, and then we can also do a cutaway to show the internal channels, uh, things we wouldn't normally be able to do with the metal parts. Um, and we can do this in a couple of hours as opposed to a couple of weeks on the other systems. Um, obviously, you could spend way more on a machine that can do a little bit more, and you can spend way less on a machine that can do way less. Uh, but Ray sits really nicely in between where it's a very capable platform, but it's also very easy to use, very quick to get people up to speed on. So here in this facility, you know, I'm the 3D printing applications engineer, but we have just about everyone in this office using that printer. Uh, our machinist is using it, our uh, software developers are using it, because it takes all of five, 10 minutes to get people up and running and get the software installed for them. Um, so just a yeah, really good balance of value for the capabilities you get uh, and very easy to get people trained on. It's very intuitive. I can give this to a person that has no idea, never operated a 3D printing before, tell them to follow the instructions and within an hour or two, they're, you know, they're up and running and calibrated. We have everyone you know, has their own login. Uh, they can put stuff into the K. Uh, you know, we can print as we need to, to keep that thing rolling all day long. So the Hyper FFF in particular has been really useful for us just for how quickly we can get parts off. We're cutting times at least in half, and that's just enabled a lot of opportunities we wouldn't normally have. Um, so one thing that we do here uh, on the organizational side is we'll actually print our own uh, bins and organizational setups for end mills, for collets, for miscellaneous nuts and bolts, things like that, because the material is very affordable. Uh, quick turnaround time for customer prototypes as well. It's incredibly useful to be able to just have that customer's part in hand. Um, so I can have a customer email me their part in the morning and by lunchtime, I can have that part physically in hand. I can go over a design review with my machinist. I can actually put it in situ inside of the machine or inside of the equipment and see how we might work with that component. And just being able to do that in a matter of hours instead of a matter of days really makes a big difference when you're talking about uh, customer satisfaction and keeping people engaged in that sales process. Just being able to keep them on the line and, and show them these little progress updates throughout the day of, hey, I've got your part, I've got it in hand, we're looking at it now, uh, makes a big difference for us. We really like what Raze is doing. I mean, they're pushing into different, um, you know, vertical markets and, and things like that. So they, they're not just, uh, you know, the plastic printer. They do uh, they do a little bit of everything and it seems like they're moving, you know, Raze is moving relatively quickly in the space and they're keeping it relatively um, price conscious that, you know, not everyone can just jump into a quarter million, half a million dollar system. Um, there really are options to, you know, start your additive journey, get good at it, uh, and then you can just you know continue with raise down that line and keep adding on equipment to uh, to make everything you know a success. Mm -hmm.